we are going to be spending the next six weeks portraying the greatest story ever told in a set that might be the greatest set I've ever been on, and uh, I'm grateful. All right, it is time for the season two set tour. I did one last year where I literally don't cut the camera, don't cut my phone, and I just take you through the entire set. This is what I get to see every day, and I want to get you an opportunity to see it. We are currently in the calm before the storm. We start filming tomorrow morning, so I thought I'd take this quick opportunity to show you everything that I get to see of this amazing set. So first things first, in the background there, you're going to see that white tent, and that's where we're going to be having breakfast. So that's where the day begins. And back here, that big tent is where the extras are going to be gathering and having their food and whatnot. We have to keep them so they get tested when they arrive. I know I've got this mask on. It's no fun, but obviously uh, we have to do it. And so uh, they get we get literally three times a week a blood test uh, where you get your finger pricked and uh, you can get test results within 10 minutes. And uh, so we know that everyone who's on the set has been tested negative, including our background actors, extras, which is where they, this is where they gather. So then when we leave breakfast, we get to what's called base camp, okay? So base camp is where all of the makeup trailers are, wardrobe, production unit, everything. Everybody is kind of gathered in this one spot, which is close to set. So what you're seeing behind me there is the camera truck. That's where they keep and store all of the camera equipment and gear. This right here production office so all the producers are in there that's where all the paperwork is done and all the plans are made and the schedule is made and all that all of that stuff and uh, that's where i'm usually hanging out at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day I usually check in at the beginning check in at the end okay so this here is the prop building you can see bruce our props guy coming out even though it says makeup and hair on it that's not the makeup and hair uh trailer so this is actually where all the props are made and stored Okay, then we get to, and I know this is loud, then we get to wardrobe. And so this building behind me here is the wardrobe department, and that's where they actually make all the stuff. And all of the uh, the, the clothes are actually sewn in there and, and fitted in there. And then this right here, this trailer behind me here is where the actors actually go in and get fitted and actually um, get their wardrobe on at the beginning of the day. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you to hair and makeup. Actually, quick stop, that's our really nice, actually, bathroom area. It's almost like a rest stop. And then here is the hair and makeup trailer. Check this place out. This is actually pretty nice. So this is where the actors gather every morning. Hair and makeup, I usually come in here to check in, make sure they're all okay. This is gonna be probably the most uh, it's probably one of the most uh, clean and COVID safe areas in the entire country because uh, it's so sanitized that for each and every person gets hair and makeup done. So if you want to be safe, you could, you know, sneak in here sometime and you'll be completely sterile. And then this is our, what we call honey wagons. So honey wagons are where the actors actually, this is their dressing rooms basically. They're their own private space and each space has its own uh, bathroom, but you've got right here, community bathroom, and then look who's here. Who we got? I'm gonna show you the characters who are showing up first week. And then we've got more coming. Look at check this out. you didn't recognize. So you have to figure out who they are when season two comes out. A few more of those names you gotta be pretty excited about. They're coming back. You got Thomas back from episode five. We introduced Thomas and Rayma. And uh, of course here is our medical trailer. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a mask. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we just said sure that's our uh, COVID compliance officer Chris. And uh, he and our producer Chris, we got two Chris's. Uh, they are in charge of making sure, of course, that we are COVID compliant and uh, that we're tested enough times and that uh, everyone is safe. And that nobody, nobody gets this, uh, this virus because if one person gets it, then we, then, then the whole thing shuts down. So, gotta be careful. This is our art department and transportation department trailer. So there's a bunch of offices in there. I wish I had my own office, but I don't, uh, I'm, I'm usually wandering too much. 
All right, now I'm going to take you to the piece of Dave Resistance. This is the chosen set. This is the view. This is what I approach each morning. And once I walk in there, it's like a maze. And I'm going to take you through it. Check this out. So this is being dressed. This is a marketplace, obviously. And I'm going to take a moment, take a stop for a second. And this is the lobby of an inn. So in episode one of season two, the disciples are in Samaria and uh, they were all staying at an inn basically. And this is essentially the lobby. It's outdoor, which was common back then. Check this out. Pretty awesome. And then there's a kitchen and this is where a couple of really cool scenes take place. Check that out. One of the things that's so great about the production design of The Chosen is how rich it is and how textured it is. And our production designer, Jim Cunningham, who was my college roommate, by the way, he's a production design nearly every movie and show I've ever done. He's a genius at just making sure that these spaces are filled. His team does an extraordinary job of what's called set dressing, obviously. So now I'm going to take you up stairs. This is a whole other location. So. I'm not going to tell you which scenes will be filmed here. But that's another spot, so I'm going to go back down. So this is obviously the Jerusalem Temple. We don't actually use a ton of this in Season 2. We will be back, I hope. Uh, for some pretty important moments in future seasons. But we do use some of this. And this particular part of the set, so there's going to be a really cool scene in episode two that takes place in this area that I can't wait to show you. But check out this. This is one of the biggest spots. We have a couple scenes that take place. Look at that. Whoa. This is an actual set. So we've got a few scenes that take place in there. We're not going to be doing too much here, but that's what's called Solomon's Porch from the original Jerusalem Temple. And then I'm going to take you back in here for some more scenes. All right, so what this is currently is the interior home of one of our key characters from episode four. A lot of things happen in here that I'm not going to share with you, but check this out. This is a bedroom in the home. And look at this. We've got a whole scene. These are the steps. So this will turn into something special because this is actually, there's a scene in episode five, maybe six, where one of our characters goes to kind of a place of ill repute similar to the hammer in season one. And you see those stairs. And those stairs take you down to a dark place. But you can see what we're doing up here. So many layers of the set. So I'm going to take you to another part of the set that we haven't seen anything of yet. All right, this is one of my favorite spots of the whole set. So this is where I actually first took you through. Remember when I was starting to come down, I was actually starting to come down that area and then I stopped and I kind of took a detour. Well, now I'm back and look at this here. You can basically stand in one spot and film 360. And look up there. So that's where, up there is where uh, we will have a character returning from episode eight of season one. Remember Fotina? Fotina was the Samaritan woman at the well, and she and her husband didn't have too great of a marriage. Well, he's back. And uh, what does he think of Jesus showing up in this town? And what does he think of Fotina um, making friends with this whole group? So we explore that just a little bit. Maybe he has a change of heart, we'll see. But just look at the decoration here. I mean, the set dressing is extraordinary. Look above me. Beautiful. So excited. So one of the last places I'll take you, check this out. 
Where am I? So see if you can guess. That will be filled with water. Okay? So almost like it's a pool. Is there a famous scene in the Gospels that we may cover that takes place at a pool like this? I think you can guess. So that comes in episode four, and it's one of the biggest scenes we will, we have, or ever will shoot. I'm really excited about it, but just check out how big this place is and all that's going to be happening here. But you, see, you can see even some of the set dressing is stationed here because when we're filming up there, we don't want to see the pool because we're not going to be in Jerusalem when we're up there. We're actually going to be somewhere else. So we cover it, we cover the pool with this stuff. I got you just a couple more places to show you. So this will turn into a marketplace at some point. Right now it's empty because we're not shooting here for a little while. There's going to be something that, a couple of really cool things happen in that little alleyway right there. I'm kind of excited to show you these places that right now don't mean much, but then when you see them in the final version of season two, it'll be that much more exciting. Check this out. We call this Assassination Alley. Why? You'll have to watch and find out. Check this out. Some really cool stuff out here. We got some cool scenes planned. And then you've got all this stuff out here. Because this will have a couple scenes here that lead to this is what we call the Agora Gate. This is the entrance into uh, Jerusalem. So you'll see Jesus and a few disciples head towards Jerusalem in season two. And what happens there? Who knows? I'll have to find out. This will be one of the last places I show you. This will be the synagogue. Hi guys. Hey. That's our production designer Jim our art director Jeff and this is the synagogue that we'll be using it's like it's like two different synagogues right yeah and look and an alleyway and an alleyway see what, see what we do. <laughs> you, you think that if we have a set this big we'd be able to uh, right. just use each spot once but no yeah, there's a lot of that, so. yeah so we're, we're doubling things up but this is gonna be an amazing synagogue twice and then also an alleyway and then this is where we'll we'll finish as you walk out here look behind me yet another marketplace and this is where we'll be shooting actually some of week one this is when in episode one when they get to Samaria and Jesus is preaching and they're meeting a bunch of people they spend a couple days here and so this is a Samaria marketplace see all that you'll see the disciples running through here at one point looking for Jesus back there you're gonna see some animals in those pens it's just a really extraordinary extraordinary place. And so I walk through here, going up this little alleyway. And this is going to be the entrance of uh, someone's house that you'll find out in season two. Look where I am. I'm back. This is that central marketplace. And that's the alleyway. And our set dresser and lead man, Alan, who is genuinely one of my favorite people in the entire crew, is back. He was here in season one. You were in episodes five through eight. Yes, sir. And you're back. And what did you tell me at the end of episode eight when we were done shooting? I will follow you anywhere. Yes. And Alec, Alan wants to be on this project and wanted to work with me and I want to work with him. So I'm not letting you not follow me. You're, you're going in any, any project we do. Alan can be part of it. But Alan has had a huge hand in making all of this look the way it is. And then on the day when we're filming, you know, of course, Akis and I will sometimes say, hey, can you move? Can you move this over here? Can you move this to there? And that's what Alan does. So, servant heart right here. Love this guy. We'll, uh, I'll follow you anywhere. So, all right. God bless you, brother. Right. So that's the set. That's, uh, isn't it extraordinary? It's like you can get lost in here. But we are going to be spending the next six weeks um, creating and developing and portraying the greatest story ever told in a set that might be the greatest set I've ever been on. And uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we have the opportunity to be here. I'm grateful that we have the opportunity to tell these stories to you. And thank you for your support. But there's an inside glimpse of what I get to see each and every day.